Hi there. Welcome to the Becca How To Series. I'm Jen Vaughn and today we're going to go over our studio camera. Now there's lots of things to be controlled on this camera. A lot of them are done in the control room with the CCU, the camera control unit, such as iris, shutter, and gain. So we'll be going over those in a different series. Today we're going to talk about safety, basic operation, and of course, what to do to get things started. So number one, safety. Always make sure that you're wearing proper studio attire, which includes closed-toed shoes with rubber soles. No flip-flops or high heels in our studio, please. Number two, make sure when you truck your camera into position that you leave a safety loop so that you don't accidentally kick your camera over when you chip on that cord. And number three, don't force it. If you experience resistance or feel resistance when you're trying to move something, don't force it. It's probably a lock that you're going to have to unlock before you get started. Now there's three main places where we have locks on this camera. Number one, we have our pan and tilt locks. When these pan and tilt locks are engaged, you're not able to pan left and right or tilt up and down. So if you find that there's some resistance, don't force it. You need to unlock your tilt lock and pan lock, all right? Pan lock is on the inside. Your tilt lock is on the outside. When they're pushed down, you can't move them. When they're pushed up, you are able to move them. Secondly, we also have our pedestal. The pedestal moves down and up. Now, if you find resistance, don't force it. The pedestal might be locked. Down here, we have a pedestal lock, and when it's engaged into the red position, you won't be able to move this pedestal up or down. So don't force it. Make sure that you unlock the pedestal lock when you move it up and down. There's a second pedestal lock way down under here. When we come all the way to the bottom, you'll hear it click. And that safety lock will not allow you to raise this. So what you need to do is push down slightly, raise this lever, and then you'll be able to raise the pedestal. So don't force it. All right, third place you don't want to force it is the wheels. Our wheels have brakes here. If the button is pressed down, you will not be able to turn the wheel. When the button is up, you can turn the wheels left to right. Take a look at all three wheels and notice how they're all moving together. If only one of the wheels is moving, that might be the brake over here, which will allow you to move one wheel at a time, or all three wheels at a time. And whatever direction your wheels are turned, is the direction the pedestal will move. As the camera operator, you're going to be communicating with the control room using your headset. This is called a PL headset. PL stands for private line. Now you use your clear comm box to communicate here, and you can press this button here in order to talk to the studio, and if you press it twice, the button will stay on. Most of the time, we'll keep that button off. Right underneath here, we have our focus controls. This is our focus servo, which allows you to focus uh, further or closer away from your camera. As you use the focus servo, you'll see that the mechanism is engaged to the focus ring on the lens. This is our zoom control. Now this is pressure sensitive. The faster you press it, the faster you'll zoom. The slower you press it, the slower you'll zoom. So this is your zoom control on the right. You can also adjust your speed fast to slow for your zoom control. Fast zoom, focus up, fast zoom. You can also have a slower zoom, slow zoom, slow zoom. Now before you start taping, always make sure to get critical focus by zooming all the way into the eyes of your talent. 
Make sure you have real sharp focus before you zoom out and get proper framing. Well, that's it for the basic safety operation of a studio camera. Next up, how to operate the jib.